Welcome back to episode 19. I hadn't originally planned on making a short unboxing video, but I recently acquired this welding trolley from Machine Mart. And whilst it's very much a budget trolley, it's surprising how much it actually makes life easier when welding. In episode 20 which follows this video, I've made some improvements to the Clark welder, with the trolley being one of them. So it made sense to upload this before I upload that video. So this is mainly for those looking to buy this trolley or to buy something similar, and just to give you a better idea on build quality. Out of the box it was packaged fairly well. The sellotape was stuck all over the instructions and when I removed it part of the instructions got ripped off so it wasn't the best of starts. Everything in the kit is fairly cheap build quality but that's reflected in the price. I'm not sure it's going to be great outdoors on these wheels but being designed for a MIG welder I guess it's supposed to be for indoor use only anyway so I was extra careful with the parts so as not to damage these before I'd even built it. But assembly was fairly straightforward though. The wheels attached to this axle rod with a washer either side of the wheel, with the wheel held in place with a split pin. Initially I couldn't tell from the instructions if washers went on both sides, so I left bending the split pin until the very end when I realised that the washers went both sides of the wheel. Now whilst the back wheels are fixed, the front casters swivel. They simply fit with four bolts onto each wheel. The bolts that come with the kit are all the same size, so it's nice and easy when selecting which bolts to use. But one word of caution though, don't over tighten them as the bolts are really cheap quality and they'll thread very easily as I found out. Then it was just a case of building up the sides and fitting the two shells before adding the support plate. Everything is just finger tight first until all the parts are in place, then everything is tightened once all the pieces are aligned properly. It was a little bit tricky on my own, but it would have been a breeze for two people. The top front bolts are then removed to allow the brackets to be fixed, then they're just replaced and tightened. Now I've shown the chain being fitted here, but I'll not be using the large bottles just yet, which you'll see why in episode 20. But it was as simple as that. I'll have a better run through the setup in the next episode where I've made some improvements to the welder, but it's nice to finally be able to wield the welder around the workshop without putting my back out. Prior to making the videos on YouTube, I worked as a firefighter for nearly 20 years, serving my community and helping to save lives and promote the fire safety message. Unfortunately, an accumulation of many upsetting scenes became too much for my mind to cope with, and after years of failed therapy, I was retired from the service on the grounds of ill health and signed off medically from any employment. To keep myself busy, both body and mind, I developed an interest in woodworking and car mechanics, and with already having a hobby in filming and music, I combined my interest and started making videos here on YouTube, filming, editing and composing my own music for my woodworking and car restoration channels Smugwood and Smugwood Mini. Unfortunately, to produce such videos comes at a price, and with minimal funds after being retired from employment, I've turned to Patreon to see if there's additional support out there which could allow me to continue making the woodworking and car restoration videos. In return for support, there are various levels which are explained in more depth at the Patreon link below, but includes the chance to win one of my YouTube projects made throughout the year, and also inclusion into random prize draws open to patrons only. In addition, I'd like to thank everybody who already subscribes to my channels. 
or watch his comments, likes and shares them as it all goes to help support my channels and for that I'm really appreciative. It's my hope that I can continue making the videos for the foreseeable future. Thanks once again for your continued support.